Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't be buying Waves plugins right now if you have an old Mac computer. So to show you what I'm talking about, I downloaded this CLA Echosphere Delay plugin for free. This was like a year or so ago, and I'm just going to hit install, and it's going to tell me that my Mac operating system is unable to install this plugin because my OS is too old basically. And so one of the things that you need to look out for if you are thinking about buying Waves plugins right now, if you're on an old OS, if you're before Catalina or Big Sur or now they're onto Monterey, you're gonna have to update your operating system to download these plugins. That's my point of this video basically. I'm gonna give you some resources to know if you can even do that. So for me, I'm on a 2014 MacBook Pro. I can't upgrade to Monterey. Now we can see here, here's the list. I'm gonna leave all these links in the description of this video so you can check this stuff out for yourself. The last MacBook Pro that could upgrade to Monterey is from 2015. And so I can only upgrade to Big Sur. That's the last operating system I can update to. Let's say I'm working on mixes, which I am, and I have plugins that I'm not sure they're gonna be compatible with Big Sur because that's still a huge thing. Big Sur, they've come out with the new Monterey, but there's stuff that isn't even compatible with Big Sur yet. So if you're working on mixes and you have old Waves plugins, you have plugins that you aren't sure are going to work for Big Sur, you need to go to this list here from Sweetwater and you can go through and find the manufacturer here and figure out if your plugins will even work on Big Sur. For me, I know that they won't. I had a M1 Mac Mini that I had bought and I ended up returning it the next day just because there were key companies I could not use on Big Sur that I needed for my mixes, so I took it back. I'm on High Sierra, so there's a list here from Waves of the requirements you're gonna need from your computer and whether or not you can even upgrade to version 13 is the latest one, version 12. I'm on version 11, so I'm two behind. And so with that, check out these lists of the companies for Big Sur if you wanna upgrade to that. And then also check out, can your computer even upgrade to Big Sur or Monterey? Mine can't go to Monterey, I'm gonna have to go to Big Sur. And then two, one of the things you got to think about, so if you're on Pro Tools, there's an update cost. If you don't have the latest version of Pro Tools, I think it's about $300 to update. Then for Waves right here, it's usually $240 for me to update. That's the max it will cost. For some reason, they have 25% off, which that's great, but I'm still not updating right now. So uh, I don't think I'll be able to take advantage of that. But for some reason, they have a discount, so it's only $180. But these are things you need to think about when right now Waves has a big sale going on where it's like $30 plug-in or whatnot and uh, a lot of people myself included it's like okay yeah I'm gonna buy some new waves plugins even though for me I know I'm not a big fan of their update plan but <laughs> they do have good plugins and I still use them so this these are costs associated with this stuff and if you just go out and buy waves plugins without thinking about are they even gonna work on my operating system then you, you're probably gonna be out of luck you know you, you might not even be able to get a refund all that stuff so these are things to think about where I would say don't buy waves plugins right now if you're on an old Mac computer because it's a mess and you're going to have to worry about updating your OS and paying for update cost with software all over the place. So that's going to do it for today. If you got any value out of this video, please subscribe. I'm on my way to a thousand subs. That would be awesome. Also, if you need help building your own home studio and learning how to use it, there's going to be a link down below for a free Zoom call with me. I help coach people in that regard. So if you're interested in working with me, click the link down below and we'll see if we're a fit and I'll see you guys on the next one.